Landon Crawley and Rico Abreu side by side to the line in turn four. The green flag is in the air. Abreu around the outside grabs the early lead. Crawley challenged for second by Tyler Courtney on the inside in turn three. Courtney slides up the bank and Crawley tries to cross back underneath him. Rico Abreu leads the opening lap. Gravel on the very bottom of the speedway in turns three and four. Now, Gravel challenged on the inside by Giovanni Selzy. Selzy sliding up in front of David Gravel. Giovanni Selzy fourth for the moment. Gravel right back to his inside into quarter number three. David Gravel, Giovanni Selzy racing for the fourth position. Gravel's got it back. Traffic soon to be a factor. Brown Sweet to the inside of Selzy. Can't make the move for fifth. Caution on the speedway, car slowing on the front stretch, the 41. Carson Mesita, there's damage to the right rear corner on that machine. Unfortunately, it does not look like they'll get the repairs completed in time to get Carson Mesita back on the speedway. The two minute clock has expired. Abreu back on the throttle, we are back underway. Brad Sweet up to Joe Trouble. We got cars upside down on the front straightaway. Red flag conditions. All the drivers involved in the accident on the front stretch reported OK via the Racing Electronics radio system. Austin McCarl crossed up coming out of turn number four. Everybody else kind of piling in. And you can see the wild ride there. See if we can see more from it. Yeah, it looked like Austin just got up the racetrack. The back end got loose and again, Everybody else piling in, bringing us under the red flag for the first time in competitive action this week. Rico Abreu brings us back to green flag conditions. David Gravel to the inside of Landon Crawley. Gravel third. Brock Zierfoss up over the cushion in one and two. Gathers it back in. Cushion, the fast line in the corners for the majority of the field. Brad Sweet trying the inside lane. He gets by Landon Crawley. And Sweet now coming after David Gravel for third on the bottom in turns one and two. Giovanni Selzy slides Crawley. Crawley crosses back underneath him. Good action, third on back here in this world of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series feature. Caution on the speedway. Car slowing on the inside of one and two. It's the 14 of Corey Day. Underway again at Volusia Speedway Park. Brad Sweet up to third. Giovanni Selzy trying to follow him into fourth, and he makes that pass out of turn two. Now Selzy downstairs to block the progress of David Gravel there. Abreu slides to the inside of Brenham Crouch and Riley Goodno, who battled for position, but Abreu gets sideways. Brenham Crouch gets into it. The caution flag waves. Abreu able to drive away. But we'll see if there's any damage to the number 24. Miko Abreu on the throttle, bringing us back under green flag conditions. Tyler Courtney low in one and two. Abreu up on the cushion. Brad Sweet ducks low in three and four as first and second run the top of the racetrack. Another shot for Tyler Courtney down low in three and four. They'll race to the white flag and Tyler Courtney is right there with Rico Abreu. Abreu down low to block the move into turn number one. Back straight away for the final time and into turn three and four. Abreu to the cushion. One last chance for Sunshine on the bottom. Abreu a bobble on the cushion and Sunshine steals it as they cross the line. Tyler Courtney wins the Volusia Speedway Park. Climbing up top with a fresh NOS energy drink in his hand, Tyler Courtney wins at Volusia Speedway Park. I didn't even see the white. I just, uh, I knew I was getting tied behind him and, and traffic, especially uh, on top of three and four. And, uh, Brad, luckily Brad showed me the bottom, and so I moved down there. It was I knew I was making ground up on in one and two, but three and four, I started just going to the bottom just to see if I could do something different. And 
Um, honestly, I was, uh, I, I didn't know how many laps were left, but I knew if I get him to mess up or let him mess up somehow, uh, running the bottom was going to be a lot safer and it ended up working out. We, <laughs> I saw the double checkers and I didn't know if we'd already gone another lap or that was actually the end of the race. And I looked at the board and, and I uh, saw the seven was on <laughs> at number one. So it's just awesome, man. Uh, yeah, our Austin and Adrian Kelly's custom trailers car has been, uh, been lights out since uh, we unloaded on uh, on Tuesday. So thanks to Jake, uh, Cameron, Bobby, the whole Colossal Marshall team. Um, they, they bust their tails uh, this season building new, new Schnee Lawson chassis. And uh, Eric with Stan Racing Engines with, here with us this week uh, with some new horsepower. And just uh, it's been awesome. And, and Garrett with CSI with Shocks has also been here with us this week too. So just a group effort. We have uh, um, a, a few, a few uh, few people from NOS Energy Drink here tonight, so it's cool to celebrate a win with them and uh, finally get one of these little gators. Yeah, I think so. I don't think I was real good in dirty air either, but I think we were just a little bit better than him. Uh, it, it got real tricky there in three and four. It just kept getting taller and taller, and I jumped it a few times trying to chase him there, there, down there at the end, and then uh, kind of changed my whole game plan up when Brad showed me the bottom in one and two, and uh, yeah, it's just a uh, technical track tonight, but uh, hats off to Volusia for putting on uh, you know, a heck of a race, uh, you know, really, really all three nights, so um, well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll re regroup tonight and uh, you know, take a little bit of our momentum going into tomorrow. Was that one of the most exciting races of your life? Yeah, I didn't know it was that exciting until, until I realized what we did there at the end, but that was, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was just uh, you know, nonstop the whole time. I mean, even though we're just running around the top, it's a lot harder than what people think. It's, that, that top was real treacherous. So you get your right rear just over it a little bit, it sucks you up over and, and you, you get kind of high center and all that kind of stuff. So just, uh, yeah, it was a really, really fun race. and. Uh, it's awesome to get to, to race with the, the great guys that we have uh, in sprint car racing right now. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.